Yen Tian Port is one of the world's largest container terminals run by a single operator. With the advantage of natural deep water port, 20 large container deep water berths have been built. Here, working around the clock. In recent years, China has been building a resource-saving and environment-friendly society. A series of major decisions and deployments have been made to develop a green economy, a circular economy, and a low-carbon economy. Yen Tian Port has been continuously increasing its efforts to save energy and reduce emissions. Through a number of important initiatives, strive to build an international leading green and low-carbon port. It has won the Best Green Container Terminal Award three times in four years. Among them, promoting the application of shore power, electrification of diesel-driven rubber-tired gantry cranes, and liquefied natural gas LNG tractor are the three most important and contributing measures. Actively promote the offshore power supply. It can meet the power demand of the world's largest container ships. By providing shore power to ships calling at port, greatly improve energy saving and emission reduction efficiency. Continually expand the electrifications of diesel-driven rubber-tired gantry cranes. By changing the diesel drive to main strike, each lifting can save 80% of energy. Reduce exhaust emissions by 95%. Noise has been reduced from 110 decibels to 60 decibels. Increase the application of clean energy LNG tractors. In 2010, Yen Tian Port was the first in China to promote the use of LNG tractors on a large scale. Four LNG filling stations have been built. There are currently 165 natural gas tractors in the port area operating 24 hours a day. Significantly reduce emissions of PM2.5. That's the location of Yen Tian Port. Yen Tian District is implementing the strategy of integrated development of port, industry and city. <laughs>